What's up everybody? So we're out in the shop with another daily vlog and in this episode y'all are going to get to see me do something that I haven't ever done on the channel before and that is show y'all me using a rotary tool to texture a spine or do any texture work on a knife. We're going to be focusing on that tonight. I've got to get the knife that I'm working on tonight to a certain point because I've got something that this is going to be part of in the upcoming future and I need to get this knife into its uh, finished form but I figured since y'all never seen me do this I might as well bring y'all along so y'all can actually see this process and see how I do this so that's what we're going to work on tonight we're going to come over here be at the vise and uh, get some texturing done hopefully y'all are excited about this and hopefully this is something y'all think y'all might be able to try out in the future so let's get over here get this thing knocked out. So the interesting thing about this is again this is not something that y'all have really seen me do on the channel. Now I'm gonna do my best to keep everything in focus because sometimes whenever I'm working with stuff like this it'll decide okay Eric's arm over here is the focal point so it'll <laughs> turn out of focus but we'll see how this goes. Now what I'm gonna be doing is using my foot pedal down here control the RPM of everything and then what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be working around here to put little grooves all the way around this because this particular knife has a forged texture all the way through here and around here and I want to mimic that texture all the way around because of the way that we're going to end up doing the handle scales but I don't want this smooth texture even though inside the ring here it's smooth and beveled and all that I want to make sure that all of these sharp edges right here go away all the way around this so we're going to be working with this tool all around here to kind of round everything and give it a cool rustic look at least that is the goal we're gonna be using a 80 grit drum on here right now and then uh, that should do most of what we need and still leave a decent finish for some of the end stuff that we're going to be working on but our goal is just to slowly work at different angles and make it look as natural as possible as we come around same thing with the other side really work into that and just make sure that it looks as kind of hammer finished as possible but I'm gonna try this out see how it goes So you can see here, we get all this texture going through here to mimic this texture that's right there. So that's what we're trying to do. We want this to roll over into that spine and over onto the other side. So we're going to do that to everything around here and keep it going. I know for some people this might not make sense like why would you do something like this well you know sometimes we do different things to different knives to you know get a certain look and this is what I'm going for on this one it's not for everybody but for this particular knife this is the way I want it to go
And there's where we're at so far. The crazy thing is, it doesn't stand out a ton right now, but once we get the finish on here that we want, all of that is gonna stand out like a son of a gun. And we're just gonna continue doing this all the way down, around, throughout the whole belly, inside the finger, uh, ring right here, all of that. I mean, it's going to be really time consuming, but it's going to look really cool when we have it all said and done. And it might be a little extra or something like that to some people, you know, with me doing this, but to me, I think it's worth it. I think that, you know, trying to do something a little bit outside the box where, you know, a lot of people will be doing inside the box, kind of outside the box stuff, if that makes sense to y'all. And uh, I want to do something that just screams the river's experience. And I feel like this right here screams the river's experience. Y'all let me know if y'all think it does. So textured all the way down to mimic that hammer texture. I'm not going to continue going all crazy on this on the camera here. Pull y'all up here in just a second and we'll, we'll you know, end it. But I wanted to show y'all what something like that looked like and how we did it with the rotary tool to make it mimic all that hammer texture right there. There's going to be a bunch of really cool texture that's going to happen with this knife that you'll see in the actual video for when I release it, but whenever I start going through the inside here, we're just going to re repeat the same process all through here, everywhere around it, and then inside, just, just on the edge of this, we're gonna leave the center smooth. We're just gonna focus on just this hard edge around this ring on the inside. But that right there is what we're gonna to continue to do. If you've ever wondered how people make those textures without having to use a file or something like that, just use a rotary tool just like that. If you have any questions about this, just put them down in the comment section down below. But like I said, but I'm, I'm going to pull you all up real quick. So with textures like this, you know, not everything has to be those really crazy, straight, clean lines. Sometimes you want it to look a little unique. And with this particular build that I'm going to be doing for this, for 
whenever y'all see what this is actually for, y'all will go, okay, that's cool that we're doing that. But um, the whole point behind this build right here is I want it to look absolutely crazy. I want it to have so many different textures that you just go, holy crap, what the heck? So that is the goal with this. But guys, we'll probably work on this a couple of times this week. I don't know yet. We might go back to the leather sheaths. You let me know which one y'all want me to focus on, and I'll focus on that. Guys, that's the end of this one. If you would, give this video a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for spending your time with me. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. I'll catch y'all next time.